Yes. Losers bracket, Razor Fudo, Beast, Jeez. Daigo Umahara, one of these folks is <laughs> getting eliminated so whoever, in just a few games. Whoever wins this gets to take over the Beast TV stream permanently, right? They become the boss. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They become the boss oh, of that man. stream. So these two there guys you go. Have, such, have such a connection on that. Yeah. Fudo, of course, uh, Evo champion, Daigo two time Evo champion. Heck, even Daigo uh, last year getting second place, winning $60,000 in prize money. At Capcom Don Cup. Yeah, at Capcom Cup, donating that whole thing to the Evo scholarship. Yep. And Fudo yep. getting second place this year in Street Fighter V. Like you said, Round Beast one. TV, Daigo's Oops. stream. When Fine. he's not there, Fudo's the one who, who gets it. They're, of course, going to not play on this stage. Some people find it dizzying, and so they're going to yeah, move to another yeah. one. Uh -huh. But yeah. Very interesting that they matched up against each other. I know that they have had a ton of experience against each other. They're training partners, you know. The, uh, yeah, they, they help each other learn uh -huh, matchups. Uh -huh. They play against each other. They know each other extremely well. But you know what? We're deeper in the bracket now. This is going to happen. And that happen I mean, it happened in round one. Of course, we're in Capcom Cup. It's not like normal seating, <laughs> right? Again, in round one, there are people who played who lived together. Right. Okay. That's just how the bracket worked out. <laughs> Here we go. Round Again, one. loser side. Fudo just sent to losers by Kazunoko. You, you see how much space Fudo gained just by walking forward at the beginning of that round. Oh, Taiko knows the threat. Yeah, and I've always said one of the hardest things to do in fighting games is walking forward in footsies. Oh, yeah? Walking gotcha. forward or dashing forward in footsies. Yep, it's, it feels risky. And it is risky. And Fudo is so good at that. Chasing people who try to jump out of the corner with the punch command throw and sending them right back in there. I love that he waited for that fireball to come out before he got there. Okay. Oh, Daigo didn't try to get out of the corner. He actually tried to apply pressure. Didn't get it right on the timing. Back roll for Fudo. Resetting things into the corner. Oh, yeah, wow. again, I really like that he's he's going for a reversal on things that are guaranteed. Oh, Daigo escapes. He just thought that there wouldn't be the second follow-up to that. It's punishable, oh. but he didn't try it. Trades. And there you see the whirlwind, oh. the two crouch roundhouses, but it's not going to work. And there it is. Fudo's going to get the EX command throw and take round one. Round two. Fight. All right. Mm. You saw that Fudo walk forward and then immediately backed off. I think he was thinking that Daigo might have saw that in the first round as well and was going to stick out a button to try to s impede Fudo's progress. I love that he goes for crouching strong. It's just a safe way to deal, just in case she does the drop. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. What's the mix-up? Blows the blocking. Oh! <laughs> in the last second, Nadeshko comes in and punishes the whip throw. And then Daigo gets out of there, gets the crush counter on the sweep. Goes for... Wow, oh, no, too early! Too close. But not punished really very well, but all oh, by Fudo. I love the back, the back roll that he's consistently waking up with. He's been blowing up Daigo's setups. He knows him. Mm, oh, he was hoping for the time. fireball, yeah. yeah. And Daigo, see, that's the thing that Xiao Hai was missing against Knuckle Dude. He had no reaction to that drop kick. We've seen Daigo twice already crouching medium punch that drop kick, preventing Fudo from using that as a means to get in. And the one thing that we haven't seen from Fudo a lot here is the crouching fierce, the whip crouching fierce to get himself in. But maybe these guys have played each other enough that right. that Daigo has consistently whip punished it. So Fudo, too scared to use it. Wow. Yeah, we're certainly not seeing them start on, you know, the level one of mix-ups. <laughs> They're way ahead of that now. Yep. They played each other too much. Fudo in there. Close to stun. Gonna use what's, the Nadesco mix-up. Oh, oh, I love the he lack of him, him, but it didn't stun him. Crazy. Because he didn't quick rise, so Nadesco actually hit. But it didn't stun, it wasn't enough. Okay, Daigo. Should we just go for. Okay. Oh, faked it. Tried to bait Daigo into something. Daigo did not bite. Daigo backing up. Trigger's running out. Fudo just playing patiently around it. But Daigo sitting on a lot of meter, but Fudo still has that V reversal. So, oh no, he spent it. Yeah, um, Ken, I thought he was looking for the reactions. But he oh, didn't go okay, for it okay, there. Okay, Daigo. Daigo. Oh, oh! What? It just what? goes for the clap out of nowhere. Oh, sends him to the wall. Wow, that was a gutsy option. On block, it's, it's punishable. Right. right. He probably would have lost. But he went for it. And, and after blocking something, like it's not the uh -huh, fastest. Uh -huh. It's slow, but it's not the fastest move in the world. 
and yet he kind of had the right choice. That's that's the kind of thing that happens once you've played each other a million times. That's the kind of thing that happens. You block a jump in, and then you immediately do forward strong. Yeah, but there it is. Daigo consistently beating that drop kick with the crouching medium punch. And there you see Daigo with punishing that crouching fierce. That might be a sign of why Fudo is not using it. Because he already knows. See, there it is. Second time. Oh, wow. Again, Fudo is so good at catching people who jump over him with the command throw. Oh, using Fudo trying to use this. To get in. And he does successfully. He's got the corner now. Oh, gets out of there, but right back in the corner. Where are you going, Ryu? He <laughs> didn't go anywhere. He just lost life. All right. Gonna, oh, he tries to set it up. Yep. He's got to take that hit. Two hits on that fireball is going to blow through the armor. All right. Very nice. Interrupting. Round goes to Daigo. Remember, the winner of this does not qualify immediately in the top eight. They'll still have one more match to go on the losing bracket side. Okay, oh. again, that crouching strong doing work. Sure, it was a trade, but most important, Mika's not in. Right. Anytime you keep Mika away from you, that is a win. <laughs> yep, you're right. You have to control the mid range. Don't want to get knocked down. Oh, Here comes Daigo. Yeah. Trying to fake that drop kick, and it, it's not, it just when you fake it, it doesn't really get you anything, you know. I mean, if you if the opponent reacts with a dragon punch, then you can punish. Right. It. But Daigo has been consistently hitting it with crouch draw, and yeah. now he hit the fake with the crouch draw. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then finally the actual dive kick comes out. Ooh. Oh, here comes Fudo. Gets in there. Look at all this meter that Fudo has. Into what? There's no more V reversal for Ryu. Okay, crouching. So a good setup afterward. Did he try to press forward strong again? I don't know. Fudo chasing. Chasing. Oh, oh! Gets him with the jump roundhouse. Gonna get the hit. Into the corner with the EX flying beach. Here comes the opportunity now for Fudo. Great block. Then goes up for the throw. Again. Oh, and the command throw reached. And Fudo's gonna take that round with the help of Nadeshko. So Crouching Strong didn't work out quite as well. Yep. Just got jump roundhouse kick. Yeah, change the timing. Fudo hit that jump roundhouse a little bit later. Didn't extend his hurt box. Fudo slowly approaching, moving. Daigo's giving up a lot of space. Back around house, anti air. Gets a soft knockdown. So odd. Nice confirm from Fudo. Goes into the corner, tries to set something up, but Daigo waking up with crouching light punches. Mm. But again, see, there it is. Every single time you jump over Fudo, he's got the command throw ready to go. He has such a good reaction to that. Nadesco coming in and locking Ryu down. But Daigo still gets away. Look how much backdashing Daigo has done. He sent himself all the way back into the corner. But again, that crouching medium punch. It's like Alpha 3 anti-airs. Oh, yeah, waking up. Or not really waking up, but interrupting with the stand strong. Oh, didn't walk back far enough. Got thrown. Oh, did he want super? Did that he want Denjin? That is not what he wanted for I mean, it's going to cost him. It's going to cost him hugely. Oh because of that, the round is over. Fudo takes it. He... As a result, goes up 0-2. Yeah, that probably was uppercut in the super that he was trying I mean, if to you're do. in Dungeon, right, then the super breaks guard. Right. I, she did have the reversal, I'm pretty sure. So I don't know. Maybe it was just a fireball? I don't know, man. Yeah, that was Whatever it was, that's not what he wanted it to be. Yeah, and that is a huge problem because now he's down 0-2. Again, this is loser's bracket matches now, so the loser of this will be eliminated from the tournament. Taigo sent to loser's bracket in round one. I, I, I like Crouching Strong, but pluto has been able to find these moments where he can get in and beat it. And it's not looking good right now for Umehara Daigo. Pluto's right, gonna get one, one more. mix up, yep. Yeah. We saw, well, you know, we, it's hard to resist that temptation. Yeah. Right? Uh -huh. If you feel like the first one didn't hit, but you believe in it, you go for the second one. Right. And Because no one would do it twice. Yeah. You know, that's, right. that's but, a thought uh, process. Right. Now, Fudo at match point, and Daigo has a long way to go, but again, we've seen so many 0 2 comebacks here in this tournament so yes. far. Yeah. I mean, at some point, maybe Daigo should just kind of go for those uppercuts. Oh, he didn't have EX. Here comes Fudo, using Nadesco as a way to approach. 
I love Daigo jumping forward and putting the pressure on Fudo. And wow, Fudo sneaks in with a slide. This could go all Ooh. downhill. Will right Daigo here. wake up with Dragon Punch again? No. Ooh. He's in! Super! And it's a confirm into a link! I don't think it's gonna be enough. I think we need more. We Not do. Not quite. Daigo's still in this. Oh! oh Fudo expected the Dragon Punch! The throw and Taigo's gonna survive. I love and the head nod by Taigo right there. Yes, yes. And got Fudo to lose all that meter. Oh, so he does go for the uppercut, and first that time. is when Fudo goes for the down right. medium. First, punch. first time, I love it. Oh man. So Taigo with the same thought. This couching strong isn't working, so let me uppercut. Fudo recognized exactly when Taigo was thinking the exact same thing. Time to switch up my anti-airs and it didn't work and now Fudo's just jumping all over the place And Daigo's walking back and, and just not being in range. I understand that he doesn't want to be close to Miko, of course, but it feels like he gives up a lot of range in this matchup. A lot wow. of space. Fudo with a huge life lead. Okay, gets the yeah. EX uppercut, big damage, and some stuff. Oh no! That might do it right that there! Might do it. Gonna we'll call the Desco! Juggle into the roundhouse. There it is. Fudo has eliminated Daigo Umahara from the tournament. Fudo moves on and takes command over Beast TV. Yeah, he just, just got it. That's what it was for. It was the Beast TV match. Coming next year, 2017, Fudo TV. <laughs> well, it's unfortunate that Daigo's out.